Spirit have actually opted to start on the CT side here, and that's where I would have seen the weakness of FaZe coming on through with Kirby as more of an anchor, but they want to be active. We've seen them push up middle before. This time they're going to be pushing over towards long with three players. That leaves Mir and SDY on a bit of an island over towards this B site. Oh, Mir making footsteps forward, just trying to see if he can bait out a reaction. Nobody from FaZe Clan wavered there. They are set up for a B set piece. Couple of shots. Rain Brokey taking a good bit of damage. It is going to be Mir, though, starting to tap heads. The second player on B is on for three. And just a war of attrition okay. as he's on for the ace now. A fourth head found. Nico thrust into a one versus two. Interesting. Dropping the P250 and knife out into Magix. So that's no fun for him. And very fun for Team Spirit. Thank you, Mir. Quite the delivery into the pistol round. One of those pistol gurus. And SDY drugging so much attention from that back box. You can see how well he handled this. Last two bullets of his USP and the third just gunning the dink and then the reload, just finishing him off into his Levi Oof. 501s. It's uh, a curious one right there. We always seem to see Mia in the pistol rounds. No matter what map it is, no matter who he's versing on the CT side, he's always in a position to either agitate the T side or to get multi-frags. And oh, that is a missed smoke grenade right there. That was meant to go towards Xbox, so a little bit of a blunder, but they still make it up Cat just as cleanly as they would have liked. Actually, things could be working out better for them. If he jumps down with that. Okay, Magic's got himself a nice one. But Nico's Deagle's connecting! Okay. Nico's come alive! Three frags. He only brought a Desert Eagle to play, but it's enough. He gets a ticket to ride. SDY can't find it cleanly. Down to 61. He has the best weapon for the job. The nade could be fantastic. They're behind the box and they both oh. catch it. Down to 20. No, Cold's gone. Nico still has to be the hero oh. and he can't do it. Such hard work all the way, but it comes down to nothing. The fuse will come in. Oh, he worked so hard for that. I'm sure we'll see it in the replay. Let's see how, I mean, let's not forget, killing four players and getting the bomb down will feel like a, a victory in a sense, but I'm sure with the frags that Nico was posting, it's gonna still feel very much like a sour defeat. Great shot onto this balance. Another into the head of Magix and required just one more. With 18 HP, a single bullet would have done it, would have cut it. Wow, that's a rough one right there. Faye's probably feeling like they should have converted. And Nico gets a scout, that's it. Into the next. All right, well. Five kills, 238 ADR, and uh, no round win for FaZe just yet. So at least it's good signs in terms of the potency of the frags. Out towards long we go. No flashes. Oh. Brokey. Takes the duel, loses it to an MP9. Nico on the cleanup duty, but the flash is high from Magic's disbalancing support as well. And Oh, cold on the off angle. I thought he had it, but disbalance very quick flick. Faye's getting knocked about here. That's your danger man, Kierby, on this. What if he could catch me? It's all about timing. Nah. Oh. All right. That could have been a bit of a chance to maybe agitate, get in between. Ooh, spot from Nico, but. No one's offering themselves up anymore. Probably after that Deagle, certainly well aware. Magic's nice adjustment. All played. Good stuff from Spirit there to lock that one down. It didn't feel as threatening as the normal long takes from FaZe that we've seen, especially considering like Vitality, the game that we had where Rain was running out long first. He was getting multi-kills through the smoke. They've handled that very, very well. And with that round number three posted on the board for Spirit here, looks like a timeout's called. I'm going to go with the technical one. Hopefully this doesn't last too long. We can get back underway immediately. We don't want to take too much steam out of the Dust 2 engine as we have just kicked off the second map. I feel like this is going three, Chad, so I'm going to go get some caffeine. All right. Mm. I think it's time. Can you give me a bottle of water? Sure. Come on, mate. Okay. We lost him already. He's gone, Lauren. He's left us? He's never coming back. He took the car keys. He's doing a Sarah. Sarah. He's <laughs> just gone now. Mm. How was your weekend, Lauren? Uh, it was quite nice. Did a bit of PUBG, you know. Yeah. Finally finished that off, so that, that event's done. Okay. Um, Who won? FaZe. Oh. Yeah, the big boys okay. out there. All right. Big boys FaZe turned up. Um, great performance, you know, Liquid, quite close. But... Is this on the cellular telephone device or they do it the legit way? Uh, this is the PCs. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. Is, this, is, this is a real deal. So no, um, no console gamers, no nah, mobile nah, nah, phone nah, nah. gamers. It was, it was a nice little, you know, break, but now I have nothing but Counter-Strike. So I get to thoroughly enjoy all of this, hopefully. Um, and we are... 
back, the unpause has come in. So whatever the issues were, probably have been resolved, I'd assume. Yeah, well, otherwise, so. otherwise we might have a couple more coming our way, but it will <laughs> just be the light pistol upgrade from FaZe here. You can see a bunch of smokes in play. Maybe they can land that Xbox one this time round. So Brokey will be lining that up off the bat. Yep. And there she goes. So over towards B, this might just be that simple set B piece where Cold Zero and Nico will use their smokes for window and doors. Flashes over and away they go. They will need to isolate SDY who is actually on his own towards the B side. Oh, they're going straight in. Trying to catch the timing on him. Nate does good damage. They know he's going to be close corner. Rain trying to take some space. Does manage to draw the shots out of him. 17 bullets in the mag. Still finds two heads. Wow. SDY knocking it down. Kirby eventually. The chopper's already there and flash through the smoke. It's Kirby losing his life as well. Big round. Chopper solving the problem very quickly. SDY did well to find two, uh, considering the amount of pressure thrown his way. Yeah, put his wiki keeper's gloves on right there. Was able to... Stop that one from getting out of control because the bomb could have gone down the B bomb site. We know how difficult it can be, even with the door switched around, and it would have just been pistols. But still, another threatening start to a round from phase, not to be converted. There's been a few of them so far. But the guns will be back out. Round number five, AWP for Brokey this time. Going for the corner pick. And nobody is home. So he's going to push on out. Chopper's going to push through lower and take out Nico. They're so feisty, these two. Disbalance, though, going to at least stem that little bit of pressure those building towards long. They do get to now take their time, and the smokes and mollies you are highlighting can still be achieved if it's something they want to go to, but bear in mind it is just two, and I don't think many offers are going to be made for the CTs to give this one up. Yeah, this is a difficult round to get back into, considering there's still a minute 20 left on the clock. Normally we would say there's a window, there's a way. They would need to be offered up a couple of frags here, and the first one will be over towards the top of A site. That's I disbalance with the AWP. The rotation has completely come on in here from Spirit, so they've absconded. Absconded? Mm -hmm. They abscond. They're, yeah. Well, they're not at the B site, is what I wanted to say. <laughs> and there's two orbs now trained over towards this long position. Almost a bit of a double stack from SDY and I disbalance. Chopper dealing with lower, dark, and middle. Mia, they're ready to trade off. I'm going to double smoke to cross. Nade through, well timed, and Mia just holding the trigger down. It's just cold zero now. One on four situation. 26 seconds left. Not going to be easy. No. Um, that's one. It's not two. You've seen more, but it doesn't really matter. I just balance with a nice little... Uh, around there for himself. You'd want to get him kind of on the ball early. That's a freebie you're never going to turn down, is it? Yeah, you're unhappy with that if you're rain. Because he's the <laughs> furthest away from the whole situation. He's just like, oh, okay, just hold the trigger down. Away we go. So that's 5 0. This has been a very quick start. Even with that little bit of a technical timeout we had. Don't just try the Tech ago. 9s B again. Uh, I mean, SDY passed the test. We tried, they saw them try it in the pistol as well. And they are throwing out that Xbox smoke. So this is the same strategy, or at least it looks the same, starts the same. But this time, a pivot towards that lower tunnels area. Perhaps a mid to be on the cards. Mir's already postured there with disbalance to bait him in. Very solid setup for exactly this kind of play from the Tech 9 armor. I normally molly this position. I'd be surprised if we don't see that come out. Nico's in a position to throw it. And, uh, looks like a Vanguard smoke from. Or rather, the Adren smoke from Cold Zera here as well. So it looks like they might want to posture for cat control. They're waiting for the CT smoke. Okay. Oh, oh, the double wall bang! Rare to see him to convert that. And the smoke missed as well. You're right. Oh, how unfun. They can't get back cat control in the same way that they wanted to. If they had to jump up now onto Xbox, they would be able to be seen. Nobody from Spirit is actually overlooking this, but Rain going for the mid to B smoke. Trying to draw out that rotation, keep eyes glued towards middle. As we can see, the attack with the bomb will be coming through upper dark. Kirby with that C4. Brokey with the Tech 9, ready to go. And well, here we go. Nico eats the flash. In for a second. God, these late smokes. 30 seconds have to go through it. Some die young postured up, but it's Mir who's in a precarious position surrounded. Oh my but gosh. Still flashed up through the smoke. Doesn't seem to matter. Kirby now. Oh. Can't do anything but die. This has been uh, a spirit game Ooh. so far. See how Mir approached that? When he was trying to play the smoke, he 
exposed himself, then immediately held right. So as they're spraying into that little body they've seen saw in the smoke, he just tucked into that far corner. I swear the reason he ended up here was after drawing their shots. He had he managed to have two people shooting at his little toes in the smoke. Very cheeky maneuver. And by the time that they actually had that duel with him, it was Deagles with three bullets left. Very, very nice stuff from Mir. Looks like you got some fan cams there. We're here in support of Team Spirit and FaZe Clan. All right, well. We're now? into round seven. No game sound just yet. I'm sure we'll get that one back for you in about five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, we can have a quiet round. Let's have a, let's have a library round. <laughs> for a cat execute from here. Oh, they could, that's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gold Zero's got the bomb though, that's so far away. Quiet please, Kirby, that's very noisy. Shh, 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 shh. Game sounds back, that's cool. There's no smoking in the library. No smoking. <laughs> Imagine if this was all we had to do. I haven't whispered in a while. No, same. This is a bit odd. We keep going. Yeah, for the I, rest I, of the I round. think we can. Yeah. We can't we have to come in now. Yeah. Right, thirty seconds. We can do that. I think so. How do you hide past like this? Rain. Man, got a lot. Looks good. And that spirit picking themselves up a seventh. My gosh, what Hi. a welcome. A quick run. <laughs> now, slowly, bring movement back into your hands and toes. Breathe navel to spine. Deep breaths, centered our chakras. We return to the land of living. Let's get back on with the show. Uh, right. Poor That's old FaZe nice. Clan. I am concerned about them, I'll be honest. Uh, the flash is from Kirby. We'll try and get him some space. He's already eaten one. And now, tucked in on the corner. So there you go. That's mission step one complete. Long control gained. Maybe, Chad, it's about time we saw your, uh, your smoke, if not the molly, the CT smoke from Long. Definitely part and parcel of potential. Oh, Cold's trying to set a fake, is he? Yeah, it's an Xbox smoke from here. Ah, okay, above the dot. No, it's a bit more complex than that, but it is. Jib, jib. Ooh, that's quite nice. That'll hold them at bay in middle, but we're going to have a run boost out. Top mid, chopper. Slams away, drops his own smoke. That'll completely negate them if they want to push through. It's going to be a very, very dicey decision. You can see four postured on the catwalk. Now that Mir and SDY have come on over, this gets even more daunting. Smoke's about to clear. Two, one. Okay, Chopper has been overwhelmed, but other than that, all is going to be boo. Sneak on Long, who is meant to be maybe the second punch to close it down, but it's now just rain in a 1v4. Bomb to be planted, though. And well, with no util, no nothing. Let's see if he can cause them any problems. Answers no. Oh, this is looking very bleak now, and I want to point out why. If you look at the round timeline, which you guys can't, I can. Ooh, uh, in the last right. three rounds, only one kill from FaZe Clan in each round, and that there is the second plant they've managed. The first time they were able to get the bomb down was the second round of the game where Nico went berserk with the Deagle, and they were unable to convert where SDY came through with that uh, 1v3 situation. So in the last... Oh, dear. Yeah, in the last six rounds, there's only been a total of... Eight kills in the last six rounds. Mm. That's not great. It's not a good indicator. No, and especially with the bomb not going down either, that means they're not even finding kills onto the site to enable that plant. So there's a couple of problems. Let's see if FaZe can start to come back from those. The bank is not hugely swelled out of control right now for Spirit. If they win this one cleanly in the same fashion, we can start to talk about them, what they're going to spend their 16K on, maybe a jet ski. Maybe a small car, get themselves like a Suzuki Swift or something. <laughs> Little Brum Brum. Ended up uh, basically watching an entire episode of Brum uh, a couple of days ago. It's quite good. 
Got there was a narrator. What's going on? Short Don't know control. what that is. Brum, he was a cheeky little car. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he comes out. Yes. He was a small little vehicle. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. he, had a, he was an animatronic. Um, he had eyes. And he uh, had days of mischief. He used to escape the mechanics workshop, explore the world. I think the children of the era were living vicariously through the car. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be a tiny car. Yeah. What do you Where's want to be dream? when you grow up? Brum. Brum. Do you remember the magic school bus? Yeah, that was yep. what my parents watched, Chad. Yeah, that's very when old. they grew up, that was what they watched. Well, magics. Anyway. Young Gunt, going to get control towards Long. That's brilliant for this as well. It's going to keep so much room for the CTs here. He can post up, do whatever he wants, gets the AK. Watch this, Nate. They are oh, reading the hell out of them. Oh, this is going to be horrible, isn't it? Let's see how much chunky damage comes in. Is it a, a Kit Kat chunky? Late. It's not bad. It's Still maybe a normal bad. Kit Kat. Yeah. Not quite a chunky. Definitely not a Yorkie. <laughs> This could be around though. This is looking good. Could the be. bomb's down for the third time. They have number advantage for once. Feels like the first time in a while. The timing couldn't be better there. Kirby. Whoa. I don't know what to say about that. Oh, oh God, you don't lose these. Please, no. They haven't lost it yet. No, you're Roki right. needs a frag. And he has found it. Magic spotted. One short, but that draws his attention. Magic's such a demon. Needs to find his frag cleanly. Rain knows the transfer's necessary. Oh, with the 1v1 and Rain. The Norwegian and Viking saves the day for FaZe, and they find their first. My goodness, they need more of that, though. Jeez, that almost... Nearly, <laughs> nearly slipping away, and that would have been another desk through the fist. Fist through the desk. There we go. This shot here, this was a big one. Oosh. Nico probably overstaying his welcome a little bit on top of site there, wanting to try and get the kill through the smoke with the conversion there from Rain to finish things off. That will be the first round on the board for FaZe. The scoreline eight to one, so we're 10 rounds in now. Back towards long they go. Rain needs a, oh, okay. They're waiting for the molly and now they'll extinguish and go. Watch this. Okay, watch this. Here we go, magic's right, right. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> Magic's was watching the whole didn't time. Land either. That's, oh, uh... gosh. Okay. Um... That's an extra frothy cappuccino, that is. Yeah. Not the. Well, the milk's gone bad, I'd say. Oh, it's frothy for sure. Oh, dearie me. Well, the Frappa Chappuccinos continue as Chopper makes an order. <laughs> and he grabs himself a triple. <laughs> oh, yo, yo. It's falling apart. It's okay. okay. Remember the last map, Chad? It was I good. Do. It was good. It was. The last one was good. Yeah. But they got the win, and I thought it would inspire them, Lauren. I yeah. thought it would be the coming together moment for the team. It's like, yeah, see, we can do it. This is what winning feels like. Yeah. Oh, look at that cat. That was a round cat. It was a rotund cat. Yeah, very circular face. Look at the guns now. Christ. I don't oh. even know where... I don't... I, hmm. All right, well... Silver lining uh, me, Chad. Come on. Get, oop. I can't still... I can't. Okay, no, it means we fine. get three maps. Mirage nice. is coming up next. Nice. We, we know that Spirit's T-side of Mirage can be a little bit underwhelming at times. Quite slow. But I've also seen how that strategy works. Yeah. Like, I've, I've seen the bad side of it. I've seen a team that knows how to exploit the weaknesses of it. But I've also seen a team that lets them play their game. And I've seen how that can actually manifest a pretty successful Mirage. There's a reason they keep playing it. And the reason that they keep, you know, being contenders versus tier one opposition. It's not one to be dismissed. It's not one to be taken lightly. And neither are Team Spirits does too, apparently. Because FaZe's pick has fallen by the wayside here. Very little glimmers of hope and of course the primary glimmers would be coming from the scoreboard but with a grand total of uh 21 frags for phase clan stark contrast to that of spirit closing in towards 50 combined there is just a, a fragging discrepancy that's the pre-fire nice shot but doesn't quite find the head it's into the shoulder blades leaves sdy down at 40. Those yeah I'd really love to start painting the silver lining of the potential for the 10-5 half, uh, but we haven't seen anything that looks too oh. promising out of phase, right? They've gone for mid to Bs, they've been shut down, they went for that long pounce maneuver just previously, magic destroyed them. They've gone for a bunch of different executes over towards that B site on their low buy rounds, nothing happened there either. And here's another round that looks like it's going to be relatively clean. Kirby gets one, if he gets something more that's great, but another round where they only take one individual down. So now if I take a look at the round timeline, out of the last six rounds, with FaZe even picking up one of those rounds, they've only managed a total of five, 10 kills. So 10 kills in the last six and they even won a round, yeah. right? So you take Masters that, you take that one completely out of the equation. 
they're really up struggle street right here. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Do they have anything left? Can they make this a 10-5 heart? We need some signs of life. Fast Xbox smoke up. Cap they go. They need to force some jewels, force some fights, play some heads up CS. I just balance. That's the first. Rain, it's a big one. Yeah, that's the perfect delivery, but Magix has been such a thorn in their side on long. You really, really need to knock him off his perch, and three members of FaZe are invested into doing so. Right. Do they do contact? New spot for him. Oh, that's a good one again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Magix! Phenomenal stuff from Magix! He's just a beast! Mir's already got one. There's more where that came from, and Rain's gone. Triple kill, all three walking into long, and it's Magix just standing guard on his own. Disbalance going down. That was the early casualty. Jumping for info gets a rain in his face. But look at the control. He was so comfortable. He's barely breaking a sweat. Boris, <laughs> the bulldozer, has a smile on his face. Let's call him Boris the badass. He's, I don't like it. No? Bad off. Bad, I mean, it maybe it's because it came out of his good. mouth. Yeah, I can't say it as well as you guys. Badass, yeah. Good. It feels very American when I say badass. Okay, well, badass. we can't. Let's, let's, let's do something other than bulldozers. Oh, man, that was so badass. We got too oh, many bulldozers. Seriously. We need something else. Boris the Butcher. Boris the Butcher. Butcher, butcher oh, sounds yeah. good, I yeah. think. That's I think all right. right. Okay, we can, we can roll with that, and we can roll with the pick, too. Chopper going down is not bad. It's... I mean, frags have been absent, so anything, <laughs> anything's a goal right now for them. But it is Deagles galore. The Brutalizer? Oh. I just say Bulldozer because they flatten the competition. It's not like it's a nickname. I'm not like giving them... Could make them nicknames, though. Could, certainly, but it wasn't something I was actively pursuing. But we could. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Possibly. Would we like to? Not necessarily. SDY does do well to find the first. The fact that he's not dead yet is blowing my mind. Finally, Brokey brings us back into what looks to be a second round for FaZe Clan. You can see they're locked in by Kirby. He's got the prime position here. And he doesn't oh. get one. Dinks Magics, they'll swap over the orb. These guys are looking pretty damn well oiled as they head towards the tunnels. And with that bomb ticking, kits on both, and Molly as well. Brokey has a lot to do, and he has found the healthiest of the two. Magic still in a room for maneuver here. Picks up the molly. Playing with the orb, though. Oh, he's changed the AK now. Good angle from Rain. Really nice. With the switch of the doors, there's a lot to clear in the unknown. And of course, Chad, as you've been highlighting throughout this game, they will have cash to splash despite the round of success from FaZe Clan there. This is a big kill. How does he manage? Like, whoa. Oh. Mate, it's a fast stuff. He's looking very good today. He really is. From that long hold, practically set up for a 1v1 there. Two rounds for your T side on your map pick is certainly insufficient. Phase in hot pursuit of the necessary four here. 11 4 compulsory. That's suggestions of Boris the Blade coming in as another potential to consider. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but it's an option. It just sounds like someone that, like around the Jack the Ripper era. Yeah. 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 It's a knockoff Jack. Boris the Butcher. There was that Butcher character from... Um... Oh. <gasps> Hello. Oh. Go on. Three. <laughs> you check in three times. Okay. It's quite bold, isn't it? It is very bold. We've, we've seen what can happen with a jump peak. More, maybe I disbalance a little bit more uh, notable towards that as he got his head ripped off. But Nico feeling very bold. But they do get a bit of short control. However, there is still a disbalance up there. So it's not really too much to write home about just yet. But we saw that mid to B, well, slash B just hit working out quite nicely. But uh oh. They're not going back to your old Boris, are they? Stay away from my doors. You want to push this? You might even get flashed in by disbalance here. Is that a nutmeg? Could be. Mm. Oh, the shadow. Oh, chaos. Magic stands his ground, decides that's enough. The bomb's going short way. Look how much he's done, though. Like, this is all information. They know it's not long. I disbalance can help A completely. Oh, it's the mid to B play again. They've cut off the rotations. Oh, that's an important start. That should really put Mir on notice. What can you possibly do? The answer is nothing. This had to be phases round, and it seems that they have managed to achieve just that. The save call will be made. A nice pivot from FaZe Clan there. They saw 
Had a good read on the game. Rain jumping for the info confirms that the save is coming on. He sees the AWP retreating towards long. That's enough of an indicator most of the time. Imagine. Spot Kirby there? Yeah, imagine. It's going to be an annoying way to go down. They need to hold on to these weapons. Team Spirit, they're out of money for the last round of the game. Or last round of the half. Chase. Ah, it could come in from phase. They know they're going to get the loss bonus. It's not fantastic cash money for them either. But taking out any weapons from the CT side of things would mean they're less potent going into round number 15. And 11-4. We can start to work with that. Woo! Big shot there from Rain. He's kicked things off. Nice. The drop into spawn. And he's closed things down as oh, just in time there. Magics will survive. So as we head into round 15, that was the opening from Brokey. It's just simple stuff there. Because Team Spirit are playing, uh, I don't want to say basic, but they're doing the, the most default hold you can. Two on the B-bomb site, one towards that goose position, one in limbo with the AWP mid long, and one locking down long. The mid to B, by cutting off the rotation like that, doesn't leave too many options to get back into it, right? You'd either have to push up through short or go through long, very long rotation time. So dealing with rain, Becomes the focal point. And there oh. we go. Brokey with the opening onto SDY again. Two Sweet. rounds in a row. Oh, and a miss from my disbalance. Bit of a gamble and Nico. No jump peek this time. Just takes the head clean off of Chopper. Advantages being garnered. Finally, these openers untradeable. Perfect play from FaZe to recover into at least this round. But there's still magic. There's still high disbalance and there's still mere standing. The group up in middle makes sense. With an AWPer in play, he can contribute should anyone have a go. Oh, I think he spots the jump off and he spots the jump across as well. Re peeking into Brokey. Very ballsy maneuver. Mid to B smokes are going to get them nervous, but they're actually. He's committed towards the right site. He's heading back towards A. Magics might need a little help here. Oh, he's in trouble. The flash, the push. Cold has got him, booked him. Sight's open. Round is done. Mir, the B defender, they know that too. Kirby's tucked in for the execution on his mantle up the Xbox. <laughs> and so we have it. 11 to 4. We'll take a break. When we do come back, we'll see if Spirit can convert this into a third map.
Preparing themselves for battle, FaZe Clan are knocking on the door of elimination. It is, of course, with one map to the good in the series for survival up against Spirit. And actually in their map pick, new addition Kirby readies himself. As does Boris the Blade, Mr. Magic's very impressive stuff from him so far, slicing through the competition with his hold on the double doors. I'm Machine, I've got Pansy and Sponge hanging out in our studio live from Cologne, ready to bring you the action. It does seem like we've got a third map on the cards. It's just up to Spirit to convince us the final few steps already into the double digits and 11-4 half has put us here. All right, well, we're straight into it and long control has been taken too over towards the car position. Nico going to try and bait in Kirby. Maybe you won't need Kirby's help. I imagine that's the last, but perhaps the bait, as you discussed. They do seem cognizant that there's potential for a second. They're actually going to boost a jumpy check if anyone's crouching behind that car, but will they expect Kirby? Two smokes for the cross, flashbangs as well. It'd be about the perfect time for Rain to have a little look here. Just about now. Oh, he does not quite take the look in time. Kirby eliminated. And now they're going for the cross. The nade from Cold Zero looks a bit too deep. Rain, though, just tapping at all the heads. Chopper fills the feed oh. with one. Mir back as well. All now for the Brokey. Bomb loose for now. Mir's taking space. One long side. Ahead. Yeah, he saw him. Go oh, on, that's all he needs. A pixel out of place, and he's going to be plucked as Brokey falls away from this. Buys a second or two. He doesn't want to be found early. He gets time now to add some paranoia to Chopper's post plant. See what Brokey does with this right back around. Oh, Ooh, good tags, no frag. Chopper down to half HP, but still as potent as ever. Brokey's going to take room and now post it up on the site itself. I peek around for this. Another peek, another couple of tags. This is a war of attrition. It is won by Brokey in the end. Didn't take that much damage, but time was almost a factor. Yeah, played that, played that really nicely. I like the fake steps to keep Chopper unknown and uncertain as to whether or not he had to worry about short. You could see that kind of forced Chopper to go for the jump across to play the post plant from long side. And that was where some of the uh, damage was done. Rain, of course, with a double kill. This was Mir's bad way back in. Look at those two heads just putting themselves in front of his face. And this was the final, as you described, a war of attrition. But good play from Brokey in the end. Needed that. FaZe needed that. That's the fifth. Just the fifth. 11 rounds required on the second half. So it will be the force by coming out from Spirit, as we expect with the CIS Ouch. squad. And Brokey's going to take a tag early. Oh, easy as you like. Some die young on to rain, crossing long. Doing the flashbang dance, hand over his eyes, and well, that's just forced out of the rotation early. Cold Zero's had to dip on back towards spawn already. The pressure is applied. Brokey's low on HP, and we can see the bombs heading towards his side of the map. So this is going to become very dicey very quickly. Only 35 points of health. If they go for the skybox smoke and flashes, Brokey might be in a bit of strife. Nade, not good. Too high. It's actually hit the top of the arch there, and no damage was done. So things are getting worse for Brokey as... He might actually have to play retake, and that looks like what he's going for. Flash is going to come over towards middle. They might try and clear out magics. And they thought better of it. So Brokey's still alone. Oh, he heard the pin pulled. Godzera wants him. Magix finds him. Big frag. Five versus three now into the site. Ooh, Nico. Doesn't get many more chances. Neither will Brokey. Just a full five-man assault flooding into the B site and every frag going spirits way. Deary me. <laughs> that all kicked off with just that opening jewel from Sunday Young onto Rain towards Long. You could see the hole that that left, the gap that it remained, the tag onto Brokey early was problematic. And well, here it's just saving this M4, A4 in the hands of Kyoby. There's no real hunt coming on through. We can see that Magix is taking space towards CT spawn right now. Over towards T spawn with SDY and I disbalance. They don't need to hunt this. They don't need to chase too far. I don't even know if they know that the M4A4 is on the board. They're clearing out short, just seeing if they can find Kirby lurking. They can hear these footsteps, or Kirby can hear these footsteps, so he has a good idea of where they're currently sticking their nose in. And it will be round number 12 on the board for Spirit here. So all looking good for them to be able to convert and run away with this. We'll get the highlights. This is the opening frag we were talking about. And that was it, basically. That was all she wrote. Cold Zero back turn, simple as you like. Magix is having a bit of a banger, really. Yeah, he's on one today. Good to see. And we know that Spirit do love a B-bomb site. So, <laughs> see if they head back around. Um, 
I, I don't know what to make of spirit sometimes. It does feel as though when it all looks good, they look almost impossible to stop, but goddamn hard. And FaZe now forced down just onto the Deagles. We do still have that rifle retained by Kirby, so he still gets a little bit of play in this one, but on the other side, Scouts, Gilil's, and the additional money just building in the bank. Yeah, this is a real problem for FaZe now. This half can run away from them if they're not competitive in this one. The Deagles need to ring true and three over towards the B bomb site. Two pushing forward. A lot of work to do for Cold Zero. Oh, timing couldn't have been worse. I disbalance just about gets in front. The trade eventually comes in, but now we are seeing these Deagles can do damage. And they have to. Oh, Kyobi's taking a lot of space here. He could find Magic sleeping as he's just going to run, run back towards the long doors. Now he's holding down that shift key. So this jewel is everything for Kirby. Needs to convert this. Oh dear. Well, that's the M4 on the floor and probably phases chances in round number 18. Boris, the bloody blade. Look at this man. He has been a constant threat. Six deaths is all he's posted up so far. Nico could add another, but Magic's now going to aggress forward. Another one for him. This is excellent. As now A is open, it's comfortable. This should be 13, no problem. Man, that was a nasty transpiration, that's not a word, of events. But uh, I'm afraid Broken Rain are going to have to just sit here, as will you, as we watch this one tick away. I'll just be running around, bounding around. We can talk about anything you possibly want. Let's see if we can free cam around Dust 2. First time you hit a wall, you lose. Who is it, Rush? Who is it? He's got to play Hello? the game. Can you do the free? Have you ever played the free cam game? The free cam game? Oh, where Back you go really of, quick yeah, around so the map. Yeah, so let's see. First All time right. you hit a wall, you lose. Oh, double doors. Double doors is... Oh, 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 oh,
So it's a bad round for Spirit to be giving up, but FaZe could bounce back in. You can see what that means to Nico. It is a long way if they want to get back into this game with a 13-6 to scoreline, but it's one step in the right direction. So get back underway over towards Long. I just, well, no, I just bounce. That's DY. Had the spawn, had the AWP, has the kill, and now we'll give the AWP back to the big man himself. And once again, FaZe start a man down when they have the uh, weaponry up. Same as before, same util. Coldzera's really been locked out of this game. Four frags for him. He go to be tested though. Good exchange of utility there. Nico's lost his position, but did a chunk of unconfirmed damage. Now he's had to repost up towards Goose. This could be that A execute that we've seen before out of Spirit where they drop the three smokes. Want to be on the bridge, want to be towards CT spawn, and one on the elevated position. And as they have all five players left alive and they just need to trade efficiently onto this A bomb site, they have a real shot at doing this. So lining up the smokes now. Elevator smoke, bridge smoke, utility in exchange again from phase. 25 seconds left. It has to be the A commit. Bombs with Mir. 19. They have the numbers, but the CTs. Oh, they're getting oh. chipped away at Kyobi just spotted. Good catch. Nico okay. trying to do it all. He needs to stop that bomb from going down, but disbalance has made room. And Mir can plant with just two seconds to spare. It's Brokey losing a lot of health with an exchange onto Magics, but looking good and set for the 14th here. Tempo switch, everything looking good. Cold Zera, four kills. Gonna have to go. Oh, to get in this now, just cold. Shut down, Mir's there. Spirit, the pace in which they approach that. Slow, studious, methodical. And it still worked out. The trades they came in with, that utility play at the end, the back and forth was nuts. Yeah, and the thing is, that nades that were coming out from face, they did a good job at holding onto them for as long as they possibly could. You know, you couldn't ask for much more in that kind of a scenario. Kirby taking a bit of a gamble there, thinking they would be pushing out in the flurry, not checking their corners. But Spirit, they weren't phased. Pardon the pun. As uh, now we get back underway with round number 21 here, it feels like this one is coming to its logical conclusion. Spirit want to even things up and take us to a map number three. It will be Mirage. Only two more rounds to find, and B is where they're looking for round number 15. Quite likely to find it at this pace. Nice brokey can make something of it. Doesn't look like Sunday Young wants any of that. There's no way back in for Cold here. Can't really push the smoke. There's no flashes to help him through. Pom's going to get planted. The question is, do you just want to hold on to these Deagles M4 and AWP, or do you want to give it a crack? Well, the correct answer, the percentage answer, would be just save. However, when the chips are down, which they well and truly are here, FaZe might consider going for this one. No one's showing themselves. Cold Zero running across the door a couple times has been spotted from Magix. And Cold will take him down. So we can get an AK, nice. take that one through. It's the best of a bad situation. This, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is probably going to be over very, very soon. Round 15 will be getting posted on the board here. Interesting camera angle. Was the wait? Was the steering wheel in the back of the car? Yeah, it did look like it. <laughs> was it what was going on there? I don't know. That was I really weird. Paid attention. Rush, is it? What was? Is it fallen off? The steering wheel's in the back. You can't drive the car with the steering wheel. Oh, in the it's back, fallen right? off. They've taken it off. Someone might have to fix that. It's the security it stops people driving away. Okay, we might want to take it out of the car next time. <laughs> no, nah, nah, we it's got four tires, Chad. I think they were like, you know what? <laughs> four missing tires. I think we can leave the steering wheel here. Um, so we're into the action. Probably oh. the end for Cold Zera. 19th oh, oh, death, oh. and it hurts the most. Through the smoke, through the gap in the doors. Youch. That is a quick one from Disbalance. They've been finding these opening kills. Can we bring up opening kill stats for the, end of the, uh, of the end of the old game? Because I'm almost convinced, especially the CT side, they have been hampered more often than not with the long or the doors. 
often an early casualty for FaZe to have to overcome. Now you see, when I saw Magic's, the blue silhouette on the other side of that long smoke, I saw double kills. And when Kirby's on the other side of the smoke, I see the same. Perfect. Locks him down. SDY though, burning significantly. Finished off. And disbalanced with a real chance, but Nico's AWP is prime too. And does look like FaZe were unwilling to bow down just yet. Despite the opening kill going the way of Team Spirit. Into the B site, Brokey likely going to swing at the timing. Perfect. Lovely jubbly. 15 to 7. FaZe is first. And it has to be the rest. So in the second half so far, the opening kill distribution has split four opening frags that of Team Spirit. Three for FaZe. One of them was that Cold Zero upper tunnel push with the Deagle. The other was Nico on that scout round where he took Addis Balance down through the door. And the other was the pistol round where Nico kicked things off. So, so far, not so bad in that department. Overall, if we look at the entire map, leading the way will be Team Spirit. They have a handy lead as far as opening kills. Defensive half, I suppose yeah. that makes sense. Magic's are sitting at 3-0 and in terms of opening duels. You've got SDY 4-2. You can bring up the frag distribution for everybody playing at home. 23 kills for Magic, 21 for Mia, 17 for SDY, 16 for Chopper. I just bounced the Orpa only with nine, but it hasn't really had to do so much right now. On the other side, 16 for Rain, 15 for Nico, 14 for Brokey, seven for Kirby, and six for Cold Zero. So eight more rounds on the trot necessary for FaZe if they want to be taking this one to overtime and having any say in their map choice. The buy is going to come on through from Spirit once again. Making it work. Couple of AK-47s. Deagle in the hands of Magics. And the AWP out for Idis Balance. He's going to pick towards B. Has a chance behind the Molly. If Brokey oversteps, might get taken down. Down to three. Click mouse one. Nothing comes of it this time. Okay, so they were postured ready to pounce if that was the pick. You could see three players behind Idis Balance and the AWP, they're ready to go. But now that they didn't find anything, they're smoked out. They know they're locked out for 20 seconds. They're going to start searching elsewhere. And so is Nico. Oh, if they'd held that boost, the timing. Luckily for them, the CTs didn't actually crest the corner in the end. Smoke was mid, but no one playing off the back of it, aware of maybe that wall bang being used on the other side. But up short, and as you pointed out, it's Nico who's posted here. He needs a good and That's perfect. Chopper's out of it. Molly instantly follows. Smoke to shut down. Avenue's closed for a good couple of seconds. That's a fantastic counter. Mid to B smoke. Probably want to hold fire on that. Now it starts to sail through the air. There's only two CTs to receive at B at the moment. Cold Zera trying to support middle. Kiebi's going walkabouts. They're going all the way around the world, Lauren. Oh, he might get caught out here looking the wrong way. 29 seconds. This is so curious. The bloody hell is the plan? Are they saving? No. They're saving. Yeah, they are. I haven't seen the T-side do this in some time. But Four Kirby's alive. gone now. He's going to swing and clear lower, definitely. This is a weird one. This is very weird. All right. Well, they big die. Fines. Very big fines. Four time. Yeah, well, they took the AWP out of the equation here, so... Uh, it makes sense they wanted to go for the save, at least in the in the terms of having a crack in the following, because their loss bonus is pretty abysmal right now, but they were hiding in plain sight. So there are some big pickups from Rain and Kyoby there, denying the potency of the weapons going forward into round 24. And now with two AKs, that's all they have to muster. No loss bonus in the hands of Mir and SDY. The flow on effects of this could be felt for a few rounds, but the answer back is to go for the force buy instead. They're trying to equal out the money here. Team Spirit just need one more round, so it doesn't really matter how they get there. We can... Question the methodology once we see it. Whoa. There we go. Oh, Mir throwing down the gauntlet. Nico trying to take control. And Mir's just done it again. That's mad. Straight through the smoke. You can see the two bodies with those two kits. Bam. Mid is open for business, courtesy of MIR. And the letter I was missing. Now the letter they are hitting. It's B. Brokey. One. Mir again. On for the ace. Rain to hold them at bay. This could be the final round of play. It is. Get it. He's on for it. Four kills. He's taken matters into his own hands in this one. There were two preserved rifles in Mir. He's used his to great effect. Poor old Kirby. He's left into one versus three. A hard side to retake on the best of times. He's got a smoke and a nade. 
Bumps to drop both. Flash up high, oh, but it's the spray God. and it's Mir. Ace to secure the map. What a round from the Russian. We're heading over to Mirage.